Nick Ajazi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel. Another day on the cut. It's leg day, people. It's the hardest day of the week. The, the day that you really have to fucking drag yourself to the gym. It's a fucking absolute war to get here, but you got to show up. This is when most people don't show up. This is what separates the men from the boys. This is the fucking difference between winning and losing in this business. Leg day, the pinnacle. We're starting with our safety bar squats. It's probably going to be my last week on safety bar squats because they are a very taxing movement. There's a, there's a power lifter doing a very, very heavy set in front of me right now. He's getting a he's strong, strong lad right now. Doing, doing a heavy set, so you can hear him grunting in the background, but it's a quality gym, man. I love it because there's so many guys here that are strong and trying to push each other. Just hit a big sing, just, he just hit a big single. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna do a top set on three plates, see what I get. But yeah, like I said, it's probably my last week on safety bar squats because it is a very taxing movement. And then I'm gonna go back to normal bar, barbell squats next week. All right, top set, three plates, let's see what I get. Bloody hell, a heavy set of six. That last rep was the fucking, not the cleanest, but I got it. Six reps, top set. I'll do another set on three plates. Then I'll probably do three more back off sets. I won't film them, but I'll see you at the next exercise. All right, people, next exercise. I ended up doing seven sets, seven sets. I ended up doing seven sets on safety bar squats. I've been in here for an hour and a half and I've only done one exercise. I take my time on my compounds. A little bit too long today, but I take my time on my compounds. I rest like five to six minutes between sets. I did seven sets on safety bar squats, so my quads are fucked. They're, to be honest, I could walk out the gym now and I've had a solid workout, um, but I'm crazy, so I'm gonna train more. But my quads are fucked. I'm gonna do uh, belt squats now. I'm gonna do Three sets of belt squats, that's it. A top set, see if I can get a couple reps here, but this is gonna feel very heavy. Then strip off the weight, get some uh, two, two back off sets in. I'll just do three sets here. All right, let's get it, come on, top set. All right, six reps, I'll take that. All right, next exercise. We're gonna do leg extensions. My legs are absolutely fucked, man. I mean, my quads are cooked. 
I'm only going to do probably two sets here, just two sets of 15 to 20 reps as a finisher for quads and then move on to hamstrings. Two sets of 15 to 20 just as a burnout and then I'm done and then I'm moving on to hamstrings. Fucking burn is unbearable. All right, we're moving on to hamstrings. You guys know I don't do too much crazy volume for hamstrings. I'm gonna do one exercise, five sets, a single leg unilateral standing hamstring curl. Five sets of about 10 to 15 reps, and that's it. I do heavy deadlifts on, on, on Tuesdays, on back day, and that hits a lot of hamstrings. Also, any kind of squatting movement, safety bar squats, even belt squats, they hit a lot of hamstrings as a secondary muscle, so I'm getting in a lot of secondary hamstring volume, so there's really no need to do more than one hamstring exercise. I'm fucking exhausted, man. Exhausted, tired, beat up. But these are the sessions you gotta push through. These are the hard days. If you wanna get in shape naturally, there's gonna be days where you're fucking beat up and done, man. And you just gotta keep going. You just gotta keep pushing through the shit, day after day after day. All right, let's finish up this leg day with calves. Three sets of 20 reps on calves. And that's the leg day done. I've been in here for like three fucking hours, going on three hours. So let's get this session done. All right, we're gonna finish this workout off with abs. 
Same ab superset that I always do. I'm gonna do rope cable ab crunches supersetted with Russian plate twists. 12 reps on the uh, rope cable ab crunches and 20 reps on the Russian twists. And that'll be the workout, finish on abs. Never forget to train abs, even when you're bulking, make sure you train abs. Don't just train them on a cut. I train my abs on the entirety of my bulk and now I'm keeping that up on, on the cut. All right, guys, that's the workout done and dusted. I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. Guys, join the Mendes cartel. We've got programs up there with new programs coming every month. It's a community. You can ask me any question about nutrition, training, even have live calls with me. Join the Mendes cartel, only five bucks a month. That's the workout. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. You gotta push hard, man. You gotta keep pushing. No matter how painful and tired you get, you just, you just gotta keep on going, keep on pushing, keep on showing up, keep on giving everything you've already got, no matter no matter what happens. But yeah, guys, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Nick Kajazi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel. And as always, long live King Charles III. And God bless Sir Winston Churchill. <laughs>